Gateless Gate Chapter 1 comes from the Zen flesh Zen bones written by Paul Tripps we finished 101 zen stories the next starting is a gateless gate joshu's dog a monk once asked joshu has a dog the buddha nature joshu answered moo <laughs> like the cat <laughs> neither this neither that and i was Uh, looking into the think i am giving this lecture from a state in karnataka in india a state in india called karnataka state the capital city is bangalore and here i find in most of the ashrams and temples especially uh, one of chinmaya missions Chin- chinmaya and the somajis mission is the chinmaya mission when girl called geeda used to visit us So she used to tell whatever she goes and asks that Swamiji from Chinmaya Mission, he will only answer, Aitu. <laughs> Swamiji, will you come to Rakum School? He said, Aitu. You have never visited Rakum School? Aitu. Will you come? Aitu. Did you have your food? Aitu. Did you not have your food? Aitu. Are you angry? Aitu. So she was perplexed. Then I was that time thinking maybe Swamiji is... Why don't they say yes or no? Why don't they move with the materialistic world of yes or no? Why they are trying to hold on to the center? Then I realized uh, here in my school, Rakum school, um, when they bring the children to me, they, they, the single parent or the guardians comes and say, this is your child. and we have got nothing in that you bring up the child you are the father you are the mother once the child finishes their degree in post graduation <laughs> smallest thing erupts there was a girl called tara so she completed her post graduation and then her ba ba she was writing that time parents uh, fixed a marriage with a boy who is illiterate So I said that was not very good. Wait for it. Fight erupted and then the father and parents all came and shouted at me telling me, we are not given our daughter to you. You are not adopted your daughter. We are not given my daughter to for you to adopt. All these problems is because of you. <laughs> so children also when they fight over here and sometimes they leave because they during the holidays they find some boys or girls neighborhood indisciplined boys and girls and there was entertainment when they leave the place and uh, when we in- insist that they come back and complete the studies fight erupts and they say all this problem is because of guruji <laughs> you say yes or no oh, so maybe i should uh, try to practice this move <laughs> aitu aitu is uh, very interesting because the moment uh, uh, people actually they have already formed an idea question is with them answer is also with them and then whenever a person comes to ask you a question otherwise when when they are in love with you there is no question they just a beautiful namaskara yes a beautiful smile or a bunch of flowers or fruits <laughs> on your lap and no questions asking whatever you said i was once visiting um, um, uh, one place near mysore uh, swami sureshan and the maharaj was running an ashram so they they, they had this uh, they are constructing a building and the foundation ceremony is going constructing a temple for 40 crores or something I um, for the inauguration I was there and Swamiji was sitting and I was sitting next to Swamiji you made it his disciples came running to me no 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 they pushed me and they brought me down from Swamiji's platform to a lower platform with this with a another chair and Swamiji protested and I said no don't worry whether I sit on the top I sit on the down what difference does it make for your for your disciples you are something on the top 
for my disciples i am on the top but basically i don't do that so i was sitting on the chair and a lot, huge amount of people all the village were there sri ranga patnam it is called sri ranga patnam sri ranga patnam the temp that uh, uh, ashram is in sri ranga patnam huh samayapuram ashram it's a, a by product of a samayapuram temple in um tamil nadu so, so samaji was sitting there huge a lot, lot of people are touching samaji's feet and then they come to me they start touching my feet and majority of them knows me because they have come with uh, sami suresh and this to our school several times to to serve the children and we are and me and my children also visit samaji sasham samaji is always very good he never leaves the children he calls it prasad and all my children think prasad when they go and say full meals full of stomach full of meals he such a nice man he gives my children a lot of food <laughs> from there i came to know prasad means it's not just small prasad the full meals so i i kept ask they all, i kept asking most of the disciples you are hearing my lectures my discourse in the sanskar tv shankara tv and they said of course so much every day without fail we are watching yes whenever it comes that time it is not on every day it was only on once a week once a week once a week it was once a week on uh, sundays i think once a week no so chandru will come and record it for 10 days in a month or 10 days at a stretch and then 10 issues will go um i think 10 issues means twice a week or something like that okay. then i asked the disciples uh, how was it he said, oh, 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 no 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 we are not supposed to say yes or no we are not supposed to even um tell uh, whatever you speak we are not uh, we are not supposed to even dissect it or what was said is gospel or truth that time i realized so sweet is the indian people anything comes from the elders mouth from spiritual leader gospel of truth yes but that is not happening now because the materialistic world has become so powerful they have the yes say no and that they do not expect any answers from you and they provoke you to give you answers and you give you an answer then they say all this problem is because of you so move is the language if you practice i think you can bring down a lot of um, diseases like the american president bill clinton and obama they had a chief physician in the white house called dr dean orden ornish who practices reversal of heart diseases and dean ornish has always was interested in meditation so he has kept two groups of uh, people one group who does the meditation and uh, take the medicines another group would Uh, takes the medicines but without meditation and he found the people who have taken the medicine their diseases have doubled it up but the, those who have taken the medicines and did the meditation their diseases have come down and he found out when the body meditation means the breathing comes slows down the lowest ebb and the thinking stops from neither this or that and during any diseases if you meditate this is a run away so mo is a powerful organ of giving them an answer that answers happens of its own it strikes with the thinking answers flows of its own try that method it might be very good right it might not be very good for the father and mother because they have to teach the children but for certain circumstances if you think they are not like the japanese they practice 5 years 5 years if you know that person and he doesn't commit a mistake this or that and he flows with you then only he can become your friend then only you can take him to your house otherwise you will meet him only in the restaurant five years time to understand and if you think that person is not known to you for five years then it's better to use the term mu <laughs> or you can ask use the term in uh, the chinmaya machine i to then uh, uh, bavia is sitting next to me and she said you spoke about is that so one zen story is that so means how do is that so 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 okay but is that so is totally is this same but it's different i think so and i enjoy this one this meditation of move